guys, it's Jenny Scott from Created to Create, and I'm here with today's daily blog, or vlog, since it's a video. And what I had realized, a few people have visited my page and asking the question how I got started in art. And that sort of made me realize that while many of you have been with me from the beginning of this art journey and way further back on my life journey, um, some of you are brand new um, to meeting me. So I thought I'd take the opportunity today to do a quick little video, um, just a little a backstory um, for the people who are new to my story. Um, so I guess we start where everybody does. Um, I am the baby of six kids, a great family of eight. I had a wonderful childhood, wonderful upbringing. Um, was always the creative kid. Um, loved trying to come up with a circus for the neighborhood and me and my friends would be designing the tickets and creating the acts and I would do piano recitals and and if I didn't have my friends around, you would find me sitting by step number one. We had this hallway where the front door, you'd come in and the stairs would lead to the second floor where our bedrooms were. And I would sit on the floor of that hallway and I would use the first step as my desk and I would draw all day. And always, mom, what should I draw? Mom, do you like what I drew? I'm sure I drove her nuts. Um, so always had the creative bug, uh, took art classes in high school, which I loved. They were the only classes that kind of flew by that and gym. Um, I really loved it. And, you know, uh, first time somebody made me feel like I had potential with art. Um, but life happened. I did not pursue it. I had a job as a publishing assistant turned corporate event planner um, and art kind of just took a backseat, um, other than, you know, the once in a while random making a poster for your kids' bake sales, that kind of thing. But other than that, I didn't do much art. Um, and then, well, then I went through some life stuff. Um, I am a recovered alcoholic and addict, um, so I had some times where I was dealing with that. And then I also got late stage neurological Lyme disease, which has turned chronic and turned autoimmune. So now I have POTS and I have mild gastroparesis and hypomotility issues, um, just mast cell activation syndrome, just a whole, whole, we, we call me a mixed bag, a mixed bag of vegetables because there's so much going on. Um, but anyway, because of that, I was so sick for so many years that I was unable to work. So I was on disability. And one day, um, I found my old pastels that were packed away. And while I was laying in bed, because at this point I was mostly bedridden um, and using a wheelchair, um, I drew a picture of what my symptoms felt like. Because I was having a hard time. I mean, I would tell people what I was feeling and I didn't feel like I was getting it across. Like my words weren't sufficient enough for what my body was going through. Um, so I would draw about it. And I would get positive feedback. I'd post it on Facebook and, you know, my friends from high school, oh, that's really good. And um, anybody who knows me knows that my love language is words of affirmation. So as soon as people started saying my art was good, well, that's all it took to encourage me to want to do more and more. Um, eventually, a couple of uh, friends uh, asked if they could buy some pieces. So then it was exciting and that, of course, made me want to do it more. Um, and then, well, you know, I guess that's it. I guess that's that's my background. A few classes in high school, just always a creative bug. Um, put all thoughts of anything artistic on the back burner, um, thinking my life was set as a corporate event planner and full-time mom. Um, and yeah, but then... Boom! Art came back into my life, and um, it's weird this many years later, and in hindsight, I can actually be thankful for my illness and getting sick. Otherwise, I might be missing this, I, you know. Um, I might still be in the corporate world. I might still be traveling for work, and 
And all this art that's been inside me wanting to come out would have just been stuffed in there. And I am so thankful that God used my illness and all the bad health stuff that was going on for something greater, something that is fulfilling a purpose that I didn't even realize I was missing until this all started. So there you have it. That's kind of how I got started into art. Um, I think my next vlog, I will talk about the very first time I felt I was able to call myself an artist. You may not think that's a struggle, but um, there's this thing called imposter syndrome, and that stuff is real, especially when it comes to art, because we are so critical of our own stuff. And uh, yeah, so that will be my next vlog. But for now, thanks for joining me. Now you know the backstory of how I got started in art. and. We'll keep moving along on the journey, and I'm so glad you're coming along with me. Have a great night.